for every midlife adult who loses their livelihood for an extended period of time, there is one to one and a half years of life expectancy loss. Well, here in the United States, and, and obviously the trends are the same in, in the US and New Zealand in terms of social upheaval, the numbers are very different. Here in the US, 40 million people have lost their jobs uh, as a result of the pandemic. And the estimates are that about half of those job losses are permanent or long-term. So that's 20 million long-term job losses. If you multiply 20 million by say the, uh, let, let's, let's use the lower number, one year, that's 20 million person years of life lost. We've had 160,000 deaths from COVID in this country. And the estimate is that on average, people are losing 10 years to the virus. And I, I think that's actually high, but even if we accept that number, that's 1.6 million person years. In other words, the life lost from the lockdown is 15 to 20 times greater than the life lost from the virus itself. And that's what I meant at the beginning. There's more than one way for this scenario to hurt people. And our goal should be to minimize the total harms. 